15 amazing homes built by animal architects. There is beauty to be found in the simplest of designs everywhere we look throughout the animal kingdom. From small birds' nests made of twigs and leaves to the complicated underground metropolises of insects, nature has an amazing array of engineers and architects at its disposal. Although as humans have polished their homes throughout evolution, from mud hogs to towering skyscrapers, the engineer's creativity of the animal kingdom remains relatively unchanged and as the old saying goes, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Here is the 15 most amazing homes built by the animal architects. But before we dive into this, please don't forget to like this video, also subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. There is no particular way to begin this adventure than with one of the most particular alien engineers of all time, the sociable weaver. The weaver is one of the most widely spread birds on earth, but this particular one has a pinching for designing an astonishing home, and the sociable weavers have become an icon for interior designs. While all weaver nests are striking in their own way, the nest of the sociable weaver is one of the most incredible and eye-catching as examples in all of nature, and it is so well constructed that a typical nest will exist for entire generations. Generally speaking, a weavers can assemble an entire nest in as little as a day, but the sociable weaver takes way longer as entire colonies of their nest are stuck together resembling a huge hairy stack of thorns and bristles. They are large enough to house more than a hundred pairs of birds, straddling several generations at a time. Ancient Termite Civilization While they may seem pretty unimportant to us humans when it comes to building nests and ecosystems, insects are some of the most creative architects in the whole animal kingdom. Let's take termites for instance. They are most often pests and nuisances to the rest of the natural world order, however, when it comes to an engineering mind-blowing architectural fits, these tiny creatures are responsible for creating one of the largest colonies ever known. This thing is so ridiculously large that it apparently measures bigger than Britain. You can imagine being the size of the United Kingdom. It was quite so short that this awesome termite colony remained hidden in plain sight until 2018 when it was discovered by accident by a team of research scientists. In fact, this colony is so ridiculously huge that scientists are still trying to determine its exact measurements. The termite colony is a huge network of dirt mounds, some of which are about 10 feet tall and 30 feet wide. While the local population have been aware of these termite mounds for centuries, it wasn't until a team of entomologists surveyed the site that the true extent of the colony was revealed, spread out across an outstanding 200 million separate mounds. This mind-blowing engineering of insect work is believed to be more than 4,000 years old, leaving us to wonder how deep this thing really goes. Caddis fly cases Like the amazing termite, many insects in the animal world use the incredible building abilities in order to protect themselves from would-be predators and the dangers of their wider environment. Nevertheless, unlike most insects, the clever caddis fly creates a defensive case that could be considered as the all-terrain vehicle of the bog world, capable of existing in both aquatic and land-based environments throughout many stages of its larval life. The caddis fly is an aquatic insect that lives most of its life underwater. Unlike any other insects, the caddis fly uses silk from their bodies as well as pebbles, sand and implant material to form their physical support essentially creating a house of bulk based brick around their bodies while they develop. They'll even use the same silk and sand combination to create nets that capture food particles from the flowing water. This incredible bulk live as a nymph on the water like streams, rivers and lakes for as long as two years, mostly safe and sound in the extreme impenetrable case. When they are ready to pupate into adults, they must quickly swim to the surface of the water, where they then emerge and fly off as winged insects. That is just awesome. Beaver nests. I know you were probably thinking when the hell beavers were going to show up. Don't worry because there's no way that we would allow these amazing woodland engineers to go unrecognized. Through these, when it comes to designing implausible homes, beavers are pretty much in a league of their own. But it is not just the exquisite engineering skill that sets these animals apart. It is the unique ability to affect the entire ecosystems. As one of the only animals that feed entirely on trees, the method in which beavers collect the resources to build their homes plays an incredibly important part of many North American and European ecosystems. Principally native to the United States and Canada, beavers are considered to be the world's largest rodents, often weighing up to 60 pounds and sometimes reaching lengths of 4 feet. Beavers build their incredible houses on lakes, rivers and streams. Where up to nine beavers will call the same lodge their home with entire generations contributing to its construction and ongoing maintenance. The beaver's lodge is critical to the survival of this species as these animals use their homes to rest, 
raised their young and for protection against predators. Weaver Ant Nest You see, the secret to how ants are able to create such a large complex underground kingdom is in teamwork. While the ant umbrella is a wide boiling showcase of formidable builders, it's the beaver ant that stands out as one of the most astonishing engineers of the insect universe. They've been known for their incredible ability for nest construction amongst the leaves and trees of these jungle ecosystems. Using specific coordination, the weaver ants create incredibly strong ant chains by linking their legs in order to pull and bend leaves into their desired tent-like positions. Once in shape, the ants then use their own larvae to secrete a type of soup that is used to stitch leaves together to create the nest, almost like a huge tube of super glue. After that's complete, the colony will then repeat the process over and over again, and a single network of beaver ants may have several nests dominating an entire path of trees at once. Weaver ants are very territorial and aggressive creatures. They are so effective that for over 1000 years they've been used by indigenous farmers to control agricultural pests. Formidable. Cliff Swallow Nests Ever wondered where the worst place to build your home could be? Maybe at the bottom of a volcano or maybe a sand beach? How about the edge of a cliff? Nothing but a drop and thin air separating you and your home from the ground. While that may sound like a very horrific idea, for one species of bird, constructing their nest at the edge of a cliff is a matter of life and death, as the most colonial species of swallow on the planet, quee swallows, regularly form colonies of up to 200 to 1000 nests, with the largest colonies ever recorded, having up to 3600 nests hanging off a cliff edge in Briaska. Quee swallows heavily favor living in grasslands and even towns and cities, and will go to surprising lengths to finding the highest and most inaccessible roofs possible for them to establish their breeding colonies. Believe it or not, but cliff swallows will actually sleep in trees for most of the year, but it's not until a breeding pair is formed that they will seek to join a cliff-based colony, which is when they'll begin their incredible construction of this high nest. Trapdoor Spiders so, if you have a fear of Irish deads, you should definitely look away now because while most species of spiders will spin a web in order to trap their unfortunate prey, the trapdoor spider uses a different type of petrifying tactic, constructing a terrifying den like something straight out of a horror movie. And what could be considered the jack in the box of the venomous Irish dead world, there they'll line in their underground home with a silk which helps keep moisture within their burrow and that makes it easier for them to quickly navigate but also access the ultimate trap for unwary prey. Each barrel has a trap door with an ingeniously designed hinge that lets it open and close and the trap door spider waits patiently on the other side of the door for an inattentive insect or small bird to pass by. They'll live all their lives in these barrels and the oldest recorded lived for 43 years. Bald Eagle Nests Bald eagles are unrivaled masters of creating permanent roots to raise the next generation of their species. Creating defensive nests in a very important facet in the bald eagle's life cycle and so both male and female birds will construct the nest together. Yet yeah, there's no gender bias in that aspect. They bring sticks and leaves together collectively before arranging them in a viable pattern. During this time, nest building becomes a highly important factor in the bald eagle bonding process which usually results in them pairing and mating for life. Oh, they are loyal. As large birds of prey, the nest is usually really huge with the average newly constructed site measuring about 5 feet in diameter and up to 4 feet deep. Incredibly enough, each year, the adult pair will add 1 to 2 feet of new material to the nest in order to take care of their expanding brood. Believe it or not, but the largest recorded bald eagle nest, which was recorded in St. Petersburg, Florida, measured 9.5 feet in diameter and was 20 feet deep and weighed a staggering 3 tons. Now that's the same weight of an elephant. Japanese Puffer Fish Imagine constructing a home so enigmatic in nature that even the most capable naturalists and scientists couldn't understand what it actually was meant for for nearly a hundred years. We may not spontaneously think of fish building nests, but surprisingly a wide variety of species will construct a safe space during mating season. However, the Japanese puffer fish does things a little differently. Incredibly, the nesting habits of this one-of-a-kind puffer are so bizarre that scientists couldn't even work out what they were until they witnessed the arrangement firsthand. During the first half of the 20th century, a strange series of crack circles were found throughout the sea floor of the Japanese Pacific by scuba divers who were exploring the aquatic region. It was so strange that the first divers believed that they had stumbled into some strange new specimen of the aquatic world. And for years, people had theories about an underwater civilization and even aliens. However, as it turned out, this pebble-based nest sand structure was actually the left behind of the nestling area of the male puffer fish, which created the elaborate pattern throughout the ocean floor in order to attract a mate. I mean, girls love them some nice houses, don't they? Vogelkop Powerbird Located deep within the forests of New Guinea in Australia, boa birds come in a wide variety of colors and shapes. 
Spread over 20 separate species of all which display strange and sophisticated courtship methods and nest building tactics in order to attract a mate. The prime directive of the bird is to collect the most highly colored objects they can find and then use it to festoon the newly constructed nest with beautiful and unique trinkets. In nature, this has often resulted to bar birds using plastics, trash and other disposed metal materials to construct their nest. However, it seems that the Vogelkorb bowerbird prefers to keep things more down to earth. Also known as the Gardner bowerbird, this species is native to the Vogelkorb Peninsula located in the western New Guinea area in Indonesia, which is renowned for its exotic and bright colored birds of paradise. Despite all that, the bird isn't bright colored at all and instead has a dull or brown shade with no decorative plumage. Don't let that fool you though, because this other average looking bird collects the most beautiful and unique flowers they can find and then use them to decorate their nest into an incredible boutique. Although it may not seem it, they are some of the most magnificent birds in the world. Orb Weaver Spiders If you perceive the trapdoor spider as terrifying, we hate to be bearers of bad news, but the Orb Weaver Spider is even worse. Weaver spiders are often rare and elusive creatures. Instead preferring to establish themselves in permanent locations where they will live in hands for majority of their lifespans. Known for their intricate and beautiful patterns, all of weaver spiders are known for the web they spin. Arranged in a spiral wheel-shaped patterns that are common throughout 2800 variations of the species. The building of these webs are an engineering feat and they begin when the spider floats on a line in the wind to attach to another surface. Almost like a fisherman casting a line. The spider then secures the line and then drops down into the center producing a distinct Y shape which the rest of the web is then built upon with a distinctive sticky capture spiral arranged in the center. Nearly every member of the all weaver family stays on their webs day and night waiting for the perfect catch. Honey Bee Hives While they may not look at it, honey bees are some of the most underappreciated and incredible engineers on the planet. When you really peel back the cleverly built layers that make up the beehive that lends these extraordinary insects go to when designing their homes is a mind-blowing experience on its own. Highlighted by the intricate and nearly perfect mathematical proportions of their hives. Even today, scientists are questioning how the honey bee population is capable of creating such geometric masterpieces. And the driving force behind these constructions is yet to be pinpointed. Generally, bees will make their hives in straw, pottery or wood and the structure that they create around them is a densely packed group of hexagonal shaped cells made of honeycombs and propolis which is a substance collected by the bees from trees. They use this glue-like material to fill cracks and seal parts of the honeycomb, forming the complex structure that we know as a beehive. The hives themselves are made of six-sided tubes which are shaped for optimum efficiency and honey production. However, the way these incredible insects instinctively plan and strategically place their hives is really a matter of enigma. Montezuma or Pendula While you may think you have already seen every sophisticated and complex bird nest imaginable, you haven't seen nothing like this one. The Montezuma or Pendula is a New World tropical ecteric bird native to the Caribbean coastal lowlands. While they are an incredibly interesting species in their own right, deriving their name from the legendary Aztec Emperor Montezuma II, is this bird's wonderful and unique hanging nest that truly set them apart. You see, the Montezuma Oropendola is a colonial breeder, which means dominant males oversee colonies of numerous females, leading to their nests becoming clustered in certain areas of the treetop canopies. The female members of the species build their nests high up in the trees, constructing them from fibers and binds to form a hanging nest that dangles side by side with the others, while the male lords over this avian kingdom. Naturally, there will be up to 30 of these nests in a single colony, but the largest ever recorded was 172. Cathedral Termites Now if you're looking at quality over quantity, then the country size colony of termites is nothing compared to this one. Constructed from mud, plant parts and both termite saliva and feces, the columns of these mounds are extremely tough. They are able to withstand the devastating rigors of wind, rain, heat and hungry predators attempting to invade the colony. In fact, these insects are such master craftsmen that they have earned the name Cathedral Termites, down to the imposing immunolytic structures that they form their colonies out of. Considered to be the most remarkable engineers in the insect world, these termites create their incredible mounds on the dry plains of the West Territory of Australia. Their structures dominate the landscape and often weigh more than 15 feet in height. 
Last on our list is the red overbird nest. This is an animal that spends several months methodically crafting their nest. Native to South America, like many species of birds, both the males and the female oven bird collaborate on the construction. And both animals are such master builders that the oven bird's nest resembles an almost impenetrable sphere when it is completed. Using clay, mud mixed with fiber, hair and straw, both birds work together to build the walls of their nest gradually during the winter months, allowing the tropical South American sun to bake the mud until it's hard as rock, and after, they'll add a spherical roof to their home before finally building a narrow curved entrance in dividing walls to create their new breeding chambers. Although they spend months constructing their home, it is definitely worth the wait because the reward is one of the most breathtaking views in the animal kingdom. Well, there we have it, the 15 most amazing homes built by animal architects. Tell us what you think about the various homes in the comment section and do not forget to like, subscribe and share.